I know, I know. This game runs like a garbage on your decent gaming PC and it looks like a Minecraft but I have a fix for that. Believe me, I am running a 5 year old card and getting about the 90 FPS even with the 1440p recording. Although I am running this game at 1080p but my recording is being recorded at the 1440p. I am recording on the same PC, I am playing games, a game on the same PC. I'm also getting a 90 FPS while I'm not the record, uh, not recording OPS when like every application is closed, OBS is closed. I do get 105 FPS in this particular scenario. Hello everyone, welcome back to my video. And today we are going to discuss like how you can optimize this games and how you can get maximum frames like me and with the um, like minimal loss to the fidelity. Uh, like you can see, my game looks crispy and uh clear i am going to share you the setting that i am running so with the gtx 1660 super the good thing is i'm not even using any kind of upscaling i'm using fidelity fx cars uh, of course it's set to 100 when i'm uh, i don't use this so i uh, like i do get three to five more uh, fps so let's get to uh gameplay a little bit and the game is going to end i will be showing you the settings that I, what are the best setting or what are the optimized setting for this game to get maximum fps believe me uh like when i'm not recording when i'm not just playing the game i do get average 100 plus fps all the time and one uh while i'm recording i do i'm getting like about oh shit 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 Oh no 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 no! Okay. Okay, no problem. So my average FPS is 84, but uh, remember I'm recording this as 80 uh, 1440p. The previous video, uh, the in depth video I've just shared for the best setting for the GTX 1660 Super is uh, already on the channel. Um, while recording that video, I was recording uh, my gameplay at 1080p and I was getting even a little bit more FPS. So keep in mind, with the higher resolution recording, you do get a hit on FPS. But uh, when uh, recording, you are not recording, you get a pretty mitty, much really good FPS. And I will say 100 plus FPS in every and all scenario. So this game is actually... Uh, uh, the problem with this game is that uh, actually when uh, like you turn down the settings then you can't even spot the enemies so that's why i have just tried the best settings that with no minimal loss and uh, i will say it looks like a high setting but performance is same as the low setting but uh, fidelity is just like a high setting so let me show you uh, the game is going to end uh, this is a pretty much a very quick video so let me show you what setting i'm currently using so let's camp over here and let me show you the setting so let me turn this off and this is the quality setting for the display uh, and you can see these are these are the my settings so of, of course the nvidia reflect uh, reflects low latency is uh, uh, on is to on if you have a weaker cpu then you can go with the uh, like on plus boost okay okay no i'm not being hunted so let's go back and uh, let's check over here and you, these are the, my setting and uh for the field of view it's 120 uh, keep in mind if you are playing at 80 field of view you do get more fps so i am playing at 120 fps uh, wide 120 field of view and let me show you this the, the settings okay so here's the view setting and these are the quality setting render resolution is uh, full at the 1080p and vram scale is set to 7 uh, 75 percent and the reason to set it because to avoid a uh, stuttering so it's the best thing and also variable reshading is off texture resolution is normal uh, texture filtering anastropic is high if you have an uh, like 8 gb uh, i will say 12 gb card 12 gigabyte card you can go to the high because i have a 16 gb of uh, vram so let's get back to as the match is ended okay we're here so 
uh, uh, I was saying if you have a like 12 gigabyte of movie RAM, you can go for the high. But uh, as you know, I have a 16 gigabyte of VRAM. I'm using GTX 1660 Super. You can check my full specs in the description down below. Uh, so I uh, use normal it's uh, normal looks great even uh, if you have more VRAM you can go with the normal uh, but anastropic filtering use it at high in every game it does not affect your uh, performance but it increases the clarity of the textures depth of field is off detail quality level is uh, set to the normal particle resolution is very low and uh, bullet impacts are on just to check the recoils and persistent persistent effects is off shader quality is low and on demand texture steaming off local texture steaming is set to normal shadow quality is normal screen space shadows off ambient occlusions is off screen space reflection is also off and static uh, uh, reflection is also turn to low and tessellation is off and uh, from the this of all in uh, environment qualities these are option are set to minimum and with a couple of options set to normal and some option are set to high uh, the fidelity is really really great uh, on this setting and the fps are are also really great uh, do keep in mind when i do not record i do get 105 fps in average i will say 100 plus fps like in every scenario you can try it at any card because these are the best setting i uh, do think these are the low to high mix settings like some settings that did do not affect the fps are set to high those those settings that affects the fps but does not increase kind of clarity so those settings are turned off so you can try out and do let me know what uh, how much fps are uh, change in uh, your case and what kind of G what gpu you are using just to let me know in the comment uh, down below and if you are still watching the video just have a look on this thing oh no god no god please no 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 please subscribe to the channel because this encourages me a lot to do a lot better in the future i will see you in the next video till that bye